Oh wow, look at that, straight into a pose. Um, I just got these TNA socks from Aritzia. They're really cute. This is just the week where I'm gonna be doing things for my soul and exploring what that looks like. I don't even know yet. I know that a spiritual life looks different for everyone. So wherever you are on that journey, you have a spiritual life. We are spiritual beings and that needs attention and that needs care and so I'm about to go make some breakfast and coffee because coffee be good for the spirit. Actually no, because coffee be making me anxious. I've honestly been on a decaf kick. Can't do latte art, but but this is fun. Like a little swirl. Sarah's making us breakfast. Yum. coffee now I think I'll get a hot coffee I also just found out that one of my work deadlines just got pushed out this is truly a restful weekend thank you so much this might be one of the best vanilla lattes I've ever had in my life this is so good Uh, this, this is bliss. This is the last thing I'm doing before we pack up and clean up to leave our little weekend retreat. Um, the book I'm reading is one that I found when we went to like a vintage store yesterday and I bought it for a dollar. So I'm really, I wanna say I'm excited to read it but honestly, I'm like the kind of person that's really bad at reading fiction because I feel like it's a waste of time because I'm not being productive. And I know that's a lie. Nevertheless, it's hard for me to like get excited about reading something. Like I just love like, I love learning, I love growth, I love self-improvement. Something about just like sitting in the rain that just feels like it's nourishing you from the inside out. It probably washed all my sunscreen off to tell the truth. <laughs> anyway, I should probably get out of the hot tub and start packing up so that we can leave. This is the little house we were staying in. <sighs> I feel like I'm closing out the weekend on a really good note. It's been been great. I'm going on an adventure today. I have never gone to the beach by myself. Um, it's been something I've wanted to do for a long time and I've lived down here for two years and I've never just like done a solo beach day. So I'm doing that today and I'm really excited about it. I just think it's also very important for me to like prioritize time alone so that I can remember what I think about things and who I am and that's what we're doing today. First stop is I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some sushi. And I'm thinking about grabbing a coffee because that sounds really fun. I'm just like feeling out the day. No pressure, seeing where things take me. Nothing as healing as ocean and air. I made it to the ocean. I brought a book. I'm still trying to read. I think I don't even think I finished the first chapter yet. I'm gonna like do some journaling. So far, I'm loving the vibes. I'm gonna come to the beach by myself a lot more often. And something that's like so funny is that I do all this stuff like by myself and I still get like, I feel like anxious is the right word. Like the night before I do something by myself, it's like a little bit hard to fall asleep. Um, even though I don't really know what I'm scared of, it's just like the thought of going somewhere like alone. As a woman, that's like a little bit 
nerve wracking. I just don't want it to seem like I can just like come out here and do these things alone very easily because I know a lot of people have a hard time with that. So I just want to admit that like I get nervous to do it too because I feel like people are like, oh, you're always doing things alone. You're like so brave. Um, I just feel like fear isn't something to like stop you from doing things, you know? Like where your fear is, there lies your task. There's a reason that it invokes that kind of emotion. Granted, if you're like scared to walk down a dark alley at night, that's like a whole different story. But like, I don't know, if like a certain adventure or risk scares you, you know, think about the risk, but also think about maybe, maybe there's a reason that you wanted to do it in the first place. I don't know. Oh my word, it's too bright for no sunglasses. Don't let your fear stop you from living your life. I feel like I'm like living right now, like, like so much fun. My hair is about to go from straight to curly really quick. I will say, I don't think I'm ever gonna straighten my hair again. I'm finally to the point where I think I like styling my hair better in like curly styles or like protective styles. So I don't really have the want to straighten it anymore. I mostly did it out of convenience and just like a little bit because I liked the way that it looked, but I don't know. I kind of like it curly better. That's a really big step. If you have curly hair, you know how big of a deal that is. All right. I'm gonna go jump in. My heart is like racing, but oh my word, it feels so good. It's like cold and you have to adjust to it, but like, it feels so good. Ah! I'm here like at the worst part of the day. Like, it's literally the harshest sun. Like, this is how you get skin cancer. Oh my word, I'm so happy. I haven't been in the ocean in so long. <laughs> 